Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship God who brings the world and its wonders from darkness into light. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, who brings the world and its wonders from darkness into light. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. To his feet your tribute bring, ransom healed, restored, forgiven, evermore his praises sing. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the everlasting King. Praise him for his grace and favor, to his children in distress. Praise him still the same as ever, slow to chide and swift to bless. Alleluia, alleluia, glorious in his faithfulness. Father-like, he tends and spares us well our feeble frame. He knows in his hand he gently bears us, rescues us from all our foes. Alleluia, alleluia, widely yet his mercy flows. Angels help us to adore him. You behold him face to face. Sun and moon bow down before him. Join the praises of our race. Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise with us the God of grace. Lord, you are near to us, and all your ways are true. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your statutes. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are true. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Save us by the power of your hand, Father, for our enemies have ignored your words. May the fire of your word consume our sins and its brightness illumine our hearts. Lord, you are near to us, and all your ways are true. Wisdom of God be with me, always at work in me. God of my fathers, Lord of mercy, you who have made all things by your word and in your wisdom have established man to create, uh, to rule the creatures produced by you, to govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne, and reject me not from among your children. For I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, a man weak and short-lived and lacking in comprehension of judgment and of laws. Indeed, though one be perfect among the sons of men, if wisdom, who comes from you, be not with him, he shall be held in no esteem. Now, with you is wisdom, who knows your works and was present when you made the world who understands what is pleasing in your eyes and what is conform, 
conformable with your commands. Send her forth from your holy heavens and from your glorious throne dispatch her that she may be with you and work with me that I may know what is your pleasure for she knows and understands all things and will guide me discreetly in my affairs and safeguard me by her glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wisdom of God be with me, always at work in me. The Lord remains faithful to his promise forever. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God our Father, may all nations and peoples praise you. May Jesus, who is called faithful and true, and who lives with you eternally, possess our hearts forever. The Lord remains faithful to his promise forever. A reading from Philippians chapter 2. In everything you do, act without grumbling or arguing. Prove yourselves innocent and straightforward, children of God, beyond reproach in the midst of a twisted and depraved generation, among whom you shine like the stars in the sky. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. You are all I desire in the land of the living, for you are my refuge. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. Lord, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. With confidence, let us pray to the Father, who willed that the Virgin Mary should surpass all creatures in heaven and earth. Look upon the mother of your Son and hear our prayer. We are grateful to you, Father of mercy, for you gave us Mary to be our mother and our model. Through her intercession, cleanse our hearts. You inspired Mary to be attentive to your word and faithful to your service. Through her intercession, give us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You strengthened Mary at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection of, her, of your Son. Through her intercession, relieve our distress and strengthen our hope. And now, let us pray as the Lord told us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, fountain and source of our salvation, may we proclaim your glory every day of our lives, that we may sing your praise forever in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.